Hello guys, this is Rupesh and you are watching CPP Nuts video series on C++ and in this video we will be learning logical operators. So these are the operators. First one is AND operator, second one is OR operator and third one is NOT operator. And as the name says, we will be applying our logics using these operators. So let's start this. So till now you might have seen something like if you have some variable and its value is 10 and if you want to put some condition like if a is equal to equal to 10 then do something let's print yes okay then this is a nice looking code right but let's suppose you have another variable b and your condition is like this like b is equal to equal to 20 so now what will happen you want something like if a is equal to equal to 10 and b is equal to equal to 20 then only print yes okay so here comes the and operation you will apply double address and it is and operator now you are telling to the computer that i got two variables if a is equal to equal to 10 and b is equal to equal to 20 then only go inside otherwise go to else if you have given else part and print no okay so it's that simple and not only this you can apply this and operator as many time as you want you can say that okay a should be less than b also okay so if this is the case then only you go so what you are saying a should be equal to 10 b should be equal to 20 and a should be less than b so it's obvious if these two are correct third one is always correct but this is not the point the point is all these conditions first condition second condition and third condition should be true in order to go inside if statement either of this is not true you will not go here okay so that's what the use of this and operator and means this one true and this one true and this one true so it's like true 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 all the time all expressions should be true only okay so this was and operator now let's look at the or operator there could be a situation where you will say that okay i have this a is equal to 10 and b is equal to 20 and either of this is true you go inside this okay so if let's suppose your b is 40 initially and you want to check whether you will go inside this or not definitely you will go inside because this condition is true and this is our operator which says that either of this should be true and one important point if your compiler will see that first condition is true and you are using our operator your computer will not bother to go and check this one because what it needs is only one condition to be true if your OR operation is applied here okay so it will definitely go inside if first one is true let's suppose you did like this a should be equal to equal to 1000 and b should be equal to equal to 20 now here both are false so it will not go inside this let's make this one true let's make this one 40 now what will happen b is 40 a is 10 but you are comparing a with 1000 which is false so this first condition is false and you are using our operator then your computer will go and check the next condition and next condition is found to be true so it will go inside this okay so this relation is or this one true or this one true or other expressions are there if any of those expressions are true you will definitely go inside this so that's the use of our operation now let's look at this not operation so before going into the not operation i want to tell something to you we all know numbers right they all are like minus infinite to let's suppose minus 4 minus 3 minus 2 minus now if you will apply this not operator on any of the numbers except 0 it will be false I mean to say this one let me just remove this no I will just remove this one so a and not operator like this so if 
a is not so if a is 10 so it is telling that if a is not but a is there not means zero only maybe you didn't got it so let me just run this the answer is no why it is no because you was looking for not but you got some value and not means zero so if this operator will get any value other than zero this is not going to go inside this it means it is looking for zero here then only it will go inside this that's what it is telling if not then only i'll go inside okay and not is zero other all values minus 1 minus 5 minus 10 10 1 5 11 whatever it is all are true okay only this one is false so if you will write a is equal to 0 and let's compile this again and run this then only it will go inside yes okay so you saw that if it is 0 then only it will go inside this so this is the use of not operator and this is not the only way you can use this actually you can use like this if a is less than b and at front of this expression you are putting this not here okay so what it means if this expression what this expression is getting evaluated into it's like a is less than b yes it is because a is 0 and b is 40 yes it is true so if this whole expression is evaluated as true and this not is looking for false 0 means false and 1 means true okay don't forget that so as it is looking for false this will not go inside this let's check this again see it is printing no now okay so if it is false means like this if a is greater than b then only it will go inside this because a is greater than b no it is not so this expression what is there inside this round bracket will produce zero or false then only this not operator will get satisfied because it got false or zero then only it will allow you to go inside this so let's compile this and check see it has gone inside this okay so these were few point about logical operators if you like the video don't forget to hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed yet go for it it would help me a lot thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video bye bye